Hi, this is Charlie with CaddyTrack.com. Today we're going to be talking about what comes with your Caddy Track unit and how to safely remove it from the box. You've just received your new Caddy Track unit. You're going to want to open it up. There'll be a uh, cardboard divider at the top. We're going to remove that. In the box is going to be a series of accessories on both the left and the right, as well as some documentation for your Caddy Track unit. The documentation that comes with your Caddy Track unit includes the owner's manual, the Caddy Track Quick Start Guide, as well as your Caddy Track Warranty Card. Now you'll want to register for warranty at caddytrack.com forward slash services to activate your warranty for your Caddy Track unit. Now let's talk a little bit about the accessories that come with your Caddy Track. So the accessories included with your Caddy Track unit uh, it comes with the power cord for the battery, uh, power cord for the handset charger. And there's a little accessory box here that includes your handset, the battery for the handset, as well as the battery charger for the Caddy Track unit itself. Now let's talk a little bit about safely removing the Caddy Trek unit from its box. So when you're lifting the Caddy Trek unit out of the box, you want to be careful to avoid injury as the unit does weigh 35 pounds. We also want to make sure that we don't damage the Caddy Trek unit when we pull it out. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the cardboard sides. These protect the unit during shipping. Now. These are the sensor arms. We don't want to grab by the sensor arms. We want to grab by the handle. We want to grab at 11 and 1 o'clock. You want to use your legs as you lift and lift the Caddy Trek unit straight out of the box. So you've just gotten to the golf course. You're ready to play a little golf. You pull your Caddy Trek unit out of the car. So let's unfold it. First thing we're going to do is release the lower joint. We're going to rotate the arm around. You can pull out the caster wheel assembly. Now make sure when you pull out the wheel assembly that you hear a click on the frame lock. We're going to tighten the lower joint. We're going to release the upper. Rotate the arm out. Tighten up the, the joint. Now you're ready to go. So you're done for the day on the course. Now we're going to fold the unit up. We're going to start by unscrewing the upper joint arms and rotating the support arm all the way back. We're going to screw those back in. We're going to release the frame lock on the caster wheel assembly and slide that all the way back. Make sure that the wheels are pointed to the inside of the unit. Right, we're going to release the lower joint screws. Rotate the arms around, tighten up the lower joint screws, and we're ready to go home. 